Oh. Uh, that was a lot of movement. Uh, dealing with pain, anxiety, depression. Uh, How long? Pain, uh, about 20 years. That's right, people. We're going to help his anxiety and depression. You see, the way it works is pain leads to lack of sleep, and lack of sleep leads to anxiety and depression. Check out those horrible reverse neck x-rays. Did you hear him? Uh, dealing with pain, anxiety, depression. Uh, How long? Pain, uh, about 20 years. Generally, it's a 4 out of 10 pain. It gets up to a 7 out of 10 pain when yep. he increases exercise. Right. The interesting thing about him is that, uh, again, he has the anxiety and depression that's been sent, and they've been taking medication for that for years. But he's seen chiropractors the whole time. Mm -hmm. And so he's seen five different chiropractors over the last 20 years. Acid reflux twice a week also. Yes. Uh, and how's your sleep? Sleep sucks, right? Uh, it's been sucking. And how much do you wake up all the time? Um... More than more than I used to. Probably. More than you used to. That's, three that's, times a night, past three. Three, three, three. three. Gotcha. You pain your back there? Uh, a lot of tightness. Got okay, a lot of tightness. A scale of one to ten, how about the tightness? Probably four to five. How about that? I'd say it's about the same. Down the floor, please. And tension in your neck, how much is that? A lot of tension, four or five. On the ceiling? Not so much here. Ten, Not so much. much. Three, four. Did you hear him? <laughs> okay, come closer, come closer. Come closer. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I, want you, I want you guys to hear his knees. So I'm gonna look down here. Like, like, go ahead and do it again. <laughs> yeah, they've been doing that a long time. Yeah, and so how much pain is there, sir? Um, a lot of discomfort. I wouldn't say pain, but four to five. Yeah. X rays absolutely are awful. Fantastic. Uh, 14 degree curves, uh, scoliosis. Um, reverse curve, kyphotic neck curve goes completely the opposite way. Atlas is upside down, inverted wear, arthritis, blah, 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 blah. And he's gone to five chiropractors for 20 years and his neck, his back sucks. <laughs> and so the reason I'm pointing this out is because all I'm going to do is adjust his neck and you guys are going to be like, what about his curve here? What about his curve here? And he's going to do a lot better and you guys are going to see it's on camera. What I do works and I'm going to prove it right now. We have a 7 millimeter right imbalance, right TMJ, and 16 degree scoliosis. Here we have 9 millimeter short left leg, 15 degree scoliosis. Here we have one half atlas wear, massive neck reversal, and arthritis. L4, L5 arthritis, constipation, and balance issues. Good. I felt uh, deeper, um, a lot more movement. Oh, this side's tight. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that was a lot of movement. After that big adjustment, we're going to help him up. He's a little woozy. Now, we're also reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Let's check in and see how he's doing. I'm sweating. Mm. <laughs> That's called nerves. Yes. Tim going down the hall is not for no reason. We are recalibrating his spine, sending that adjustment from his neck down to his feet. It does feel like there's less tension. There's... Slightly less tension there. This new? About a three there. Your neck? A lot less tension there. There's nothing, right? Nothing. A oh. little bit better. Yeah. Honestly. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. I, I, pre I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of lying for us. Of course. Looks, yeah, I feel good so far. Good. Yeah, absolutely. So I hope you guys learned something from that. Thank you for the video. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. The interesting thing about him is that he was. It was I was having trouble getting him in the first time. He wants to, he wanted to be here, but he was trying to work around his schedule to get in here, and we kept refusing him to get in here. And he's like, "Why can't I get in? Why can't I get in?" Because I told him, "I go, I don't want you coming once a week, once every two weeks. You're not getting anything out of it. I'll let him speak to this in a minute." But he put time aside to get in here, and I applaud him for that because I think he. I think he's going to say he saw the benefit of doing some extra work and getting some, getting his ass kicked for a week. And mm -hmm. so uh, he's seen a lot of changes. If he came in like he wanted to come in, he may have not have benefited from this because he would have just been scared, like it didn't work, whatever, made up some excuses. Pain-wise, uh, it's reduced pretty significantly. Um, okay, you were low back pain forever. Mm -hmm. Long time. So 23 years, right? Mm -hmm. And so how much pain less, how much better you are this week? A um, couple of points, you know, it was just constant pain, like all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't real sharp most of the time, although there were occasions. But um, just it's, it's general idea. for maybe like, you know, a, a three, four, it's a one, two. Gotcha. So is how much percentage increases that? 20%, 40%, 50%? What uh, in your mind? Just kind of give people, 
how much better you are in less than a week? Uh, probably, I'd say at least 50%. The right knee pain when you came in. Mm -hmm. How's that pain been? Uh, it's reduced, let's say a point or two. Gotcha. Uh, again, still percentage, there, percentage, percentage wise. You know, People don't know what a point or two means. What uh, is percentage wise? 50%, 20, 25%? About 40. More quality sleep for sure. Um, uh, I was waking up a couple times a night um, before um, last week, and then now I'm. Staying asleep most of the time. Anxiety and change anxiety? Uh, it's reduced 20, 30%. Good. Like, and you've had that for eight years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Acid reflux twice a week. Um, that's a little bit, maybe 10%. As I mentioned the other day, I've been um, struggling with pretty severe anxiety for eight, going on nine years. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, I had gone to a couple of doctors, general physicians, psychiatrists, a couple of things, because uh, it got to the point where it was unbearable. I think I mentioned that uh, the half hour drive to and from work, sometimes I would have to stop, pull off the freeway, and sit there for an hour or two before I could kind of yeah. get myself into the zone where So you were motivated to try to get control of this? Absolutely. Yeah, so you went to the medical doctors and they tried to pump, pump most of it with Xanax. Oh, and and apparently what they know is, 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 yeah, is Xanax and um, a bunch of other crap. Um, but the, it, it wasn't my... Thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to get better. Absolutely, but I, what I like about this conversation, she's about to go into this that he wanted to go beyond that. He was like, "This drug thing sucks." So I don't like he it. expressed to me that he got professional help, which I love because the professional help, there was actually somebody good in there that told yes. us what. I mm -hmm. want to hear this information. So um, I went to see a very particular doctor. Uh, Methodologies like intensive, short term psychodynamic therapy, IT, whatever. Wow. Yeah, um, not cheap. Four hundred bucks an hour to go see this guy. The only person that I learned from and actually had results prior to to visiting you, right? Um, so what he had told me was the three to six milligrams of Xanax that I was on a day. I think you know six kills elephants, maybe uh, normally. I had been on so much so long that I was going with through withdrawals every morning when I would wake up. So what would the withdrawals do to you? So it take my anxiety level at a normal two three and it take it to six seven eight nine ten. So the whole thing is here, the medication was making him worse. It was making me worse, yes. And so he was going, why am I getting worse and worse and worse? And he's right. doubling up and tripling up on Xanax. Because right. why? Because the Xanax itself was fucking him up. Yeah, and every two, three hours is another one because... Yeah. It, so it, I love wrong. this information because I never knew this. And so he's he's teaching me something that hopefully yeah. you guys out there will learn something from this. And so the thing no this guy did, he goes, get off the Xanax. Yeah. And so you got off the Xanax, you got much more control of your anxiety. Yes, Perfect. absolutely. So, yeah, I spent a lot of money, a lot of time with this guy, and uh, if you don't have to, just to kind of learn a couple of things that I, that I did, spending that much time and money and effort and yeah. heartache on it, then, uh, you know. Yeah, so I, I, hope I, don't you guys mind, I don't mind sharing that. So I've been to chiropractors on and off for the last 20 years, I, I think I told you. Um, and it's been onesies, twosies, maybe a couple times a week at the most. Um, and it hasn't been all that efficacious in my recovery, yeah, sometimes, but um, a structured plan like yours that you helped me with um, really got results quickly, um, better than I expected. Obviously, my work schedule is very important to me, um, so I needed your like hard angle to say, okay, well, let's, what's more important? Yeah, what's more important and can they work around it? And so I made it work and, and finally got in here. Definitely. Don't come in with an half ass attitude and go, I'm gonna come in one time, he's gonna fix me. It takes some effort, guys. You just have to get to the point where you accept the fact that you might have to be here two days a week, two, day, uh, two times a day for three days out of the week or four days out of the yeah. week. Yeah, and it's I've not here, forever, it's not forever. I've been here eight times since Monday. Monday, so, um, Monday. And no, I wasn't really looking to, forward to doing that, but, um, it's helped. What have we worked on with you this week? Tell us some of the things we've worked on. Um, posture. Posture. That's right? a big one. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, this right here. This right here. Um, Why have we worked on this one? Because uh, of my posture and how I'm... He's a computer guy, so he's on the computer all the time. Mm -hmm. I know he doesn't look like a computer geek, but... <laughs> But well, he's more, more like an athlete, right? Like he looks, he looks like a professional athlete, I so I know it's, you guys. It's get, just the off season it's for just me the, right now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna press on the chair. Let's see this. Good. Yeah. Good, nice. So impressed. We had this long discussion this morning. Let's see.
high rate of concentration, high rate of transfer of the information to actually this guy. So that was amazingly different. Yep, so, absolutely.